It is now easier than ever to turn your Brizzy Cloud website into a multilingual or a bilingual website. And that can be done in three easy steps. First, you're going to set up the languages that you want to use. And then second, do the translation. And third, set up a language switcher in your website's header. Let's see how you can do that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. I'm JP, welcome here to the Brizzy Cloud channel. And let's look at this amazing translation tool that we get in Brizzy Cloud. Yes, in free and in pro, with a few extra features within Brizzy Cloud Pro. I have here a little bit of text that I've thrown together for this demonstration purpose. When you are within your project, your website within Brizzy Cloud, you go to the CMS dashboard. That is the hamburger menu here in the top left corner. Select that. And the first thing we have to do is set the languages for your entire site. Go to project settings in the bottom left hand corner. And then from the toolbar up here, we select this one that says translate. The first thing you do is set the language of your site. If your site is in French originally, this is where you're going to set your original site language. This one of mine, of course, is in English. Then you add a new translation. In the pro version, you can add multiple languages, as many as you please. In the free version, you're limited to one. So let's go to translate to language and we select the language that we want to translate it into. I'm going to select Afrikaans here. And of course, you're going to select the languages that you would like to translate into. Now we have these three options make public well of course you want this one to be public maybe you want it somewhere behind the scenes then you select it over here or most cases you're going to put it on public auto translate is an awesome feature here i actually have to admit i wasn't a big fan of auto translate until i tried this one a few times and i was just blown away by the results i like to take control i like to do my things manually but if you have a lot i would actually Tell you go ahead and first try the auto translate because you're going to find that you're only going to make a few tweaks here and there and this is going to save you loads of time if you have a lot of text auto translate also is a feature only available in brizzy cloud pro in free you're going to do everything manual not a problem right but in this case to show you how the auto translate works let's activate it and then you have the option here below which is the auto switch with auto switch, when the website is loaded, it will detect the language setting of the browser. So if the browser, which is Chrome or Edge, is set to Vietnamese, it will automatically switch to that language if it is one of your translated languages. In most cases, you're also going to add this on because it makes it much easier for people to quickly get into the language and then they can switch back to the other language if they so please. And that's it. I'm going to activate auto switch here and then click add translation. And then you will see now it says here English to Afrikaans. And if you select again translate up here, you'll see that it looks like this. If you want to add more languages, you do so now by clicking and adding more at add new translation. Let's close this out. And then I'm going to open the preview of this page to show you what happens now. We're going to run into a problem here because there is no way yet for you to switch between this page and your translated page. And for that, we need the language switcher, which is step three. Let's do that. So currently, as you can see here, which I just mentioned is we just have the English version. How do we get to the Afrikaans version? Let's go back into the builder. And now we bring in a little element called language switcher. Go to the add elements and then scroll down and you will see over here translation element. Click and drag and this one, you're usually going to pop somewhere into your header or a footer. I'll add it over here. And you have the usual brizzy way of styling and working with it, changing it out, changing colors. All I want to do in this case is just align it to the right. Let's drag this one a little bit. And then update. Let's go to the front end, refresh this page. And now you will see our language switcher will give us the opportunity here to select between English and Afrikaans. In the language switcher, you will have the options whether you want to have the flags there or not. I select Afrikaans and look at this amazing translation. Really, when I look through this and I just some random text that I copied from the news websites, I'm just blown away by the power of the automatic translation. 
However, you're going to run into cases where the automatic translation will not deliver. And in those cases, you will need to go and do manual translation. Let's go back. And now it's not site related translation, but it's to the specific page. From our CMS dashboard, go to pages and then click on the page name. And you will see up here in the toolbar, we have the translate again. Here we now have the option to change out any of these that were automatically translated. So if I have your sign in and I want to say taken on as an alternative, you will also now observe that there's a little blue icon with a check mark inside that tells you manually edit it. Remember to update it. And if you go to the front and you refresh, you will see now that at the top where it says melt on changes into taken on. Go ahead and give the translation option in Brizzy Cloud a try today. Open a free website with any of the unlimited.brizzy.site extensions and test it for yourself to see how it works. We're very proud of this product and we're adding more functionality as it grows. From me, JP, I'll see you in the next video. Go well and take care.